Welcome fellow seekers of health and welcome to the first ever video on the Wellness Everyday channel. Today's climate has changed the way we approach and handle health in present society. With the ever-present threat of the pandemic looming within our heads, it seems that we have barely any place to go. And one of the most essential places that people once went to in order to be healthy is the gym. People used to go to the gym for a variety of reasons, but for the most part, the average person usually goes there to do one thing, lose weight. Well, what if I told you that it was possible to still lose weight, even if our outdoor activities now are slightly hampered by current times? Here are 10 ways you could possibly lose weight without ever having to go to your usual places to exercise your butt off. Number 1. Eat your breakfast. Breakfast is one of the many first important meals of the day. Not only because it is fun to just prepare a good old bowl of your delicious cereal and milk, coupled with the smell of bacon and eggs to go along as the main course, but also, it is a perfect way to lose weight. Wait a minute, I hear you ask. Doesn't eating more food counteract the purpose of losing weight in the first place? Shouldn't you just skip breakfast entirely? Yes, but skipping breakfast has proven to be quite more harmful than not. According to Elizabeth Ward, MSRD, offered a pocket idiot's guide to the new food pyramids, skipping breakfast actually makes you gain more weight due to the fact that your body wants to compensate for that lost food. And thus, you gain more weight just by simply eating a lot more throughout the day than you intended. Studies show people who eat breakfast have lower BMIs than breakfast skippers and perform better. Number 2. Exercise regularly. Well, this is a clear no-brainer. Exercise is as integral to health and weight loss as much as a good peanut butter jelly sandwich in the morning. Of course, with eating so much, you have to burn it off with exercise. Get a pedometer and walk 10,000 steps per day, be active and find a physical activity to enjoy. Heck, just if, even just going up the downstairs in your own home is a good alternative to do exercise. Number 3. Drink plenty of water. First is a different beast compared to hunger, but don't think it that it wouldn't gain weight all the same. After all, while drinks like soda and juices are plenty delicious, along with how sports drinks are implied to be, they still pile on the calories like hell. So instead, why not start going with the most basic alternative and start drinking some water? Drinking a glass between meals can keep the hydration steady, as well as reduce calorie intake and may be effective in weight management. A study from the PubMed confirms this, along with suggesting it might be a better weight control strategy. Go for the recommended 8 glasses a day and you'll be right on your way to having your body be as fluid and flexible as water itself. Number 4. Cut down on alcohol. Related to our last entry, as much as it is good to have a swig of the good old mug of beer after a hard work stressful day, alcohol can pile on the calories too when you don't limit it to the weekends at least. In fact, a standard glass of wine could contain as many calories as just a single piece of chocolate. Think about that. You can essentially chug down an entire bottle and you might end up packing more weight than eating a whole Toblerone bar. A study even confirms that beer contains digested carbs that shut down fat burning. Now that's what we call a beer belly. Number 5. Get yourself a good night's sleep. Sometimes, it might be alright if you try to get yourself some little rest and relaxation to yourself once in a while. Sleep actually helps out with weight loss quite amazingly, as many researchers can tell you. Studies show that, if you don't get any shut-eye at all, you could gain weight rather easily. Research also suggests that insufficient or poor quality sleep slows down the process in which the body converts calories to energy, called metabolism. Number 6. Perform a bit of intermittent fasting. Sometimes, the best way to lose weight is just not to eat food at all. For a while at least. Intermittent fasting is a pattern of eating that involves regular short-term fasts and consuming meals in a shorter time period during the day. Studies show that if you do short-term intermittent fasting up to 24 weeks, it shows profound weight loss results, especially in former overweight individuals. Number 7. Limit your high-fat food intake. Hey, remember those days of hanging with your pals and having a nice good warm slice of pizza? Or even gobbling down a bucket of buttered popcorn whenever you go to the cinema along with a large size soda? Well, those kinds of foods are very, very high in fat, and you really shouldn't always eat them. Sure, there's such a thing as healthy fats, but these ones aren't and must be kept in moderation. According to a study in the American Journal of Preventive Medicine, the National Weight Control Registry participants maintained the majority of their weight loss when they stuck to a low-fat diet. 
So turn your usual everyday snackings into gourmet food. You rarely eat them, but oh boy, do you love it when you do and still keep that frame in shape. Number 8. Stop on the fruit juice. Look, I know you love that Jamba Juice. I do too. But all fruit juices in general give out sugar. And sugar gives out empty calories that can give you a pound in three weeks if you're not careful. Studies show that any person of any age can fall into the sweet flytrap of the fruit juice, causing obesity at its worst. They also contain refined carbohydrates, heavily processed stuff that doesn't contain any fibers or other nutrients. Quick to digest, but also converts to glucose rapidly which will contribute to the weight gain with the combination of the natural insulin in your body. So instead of going for a good old Four Seasons, go for something like smoothies with water or just regular milk. Same taste, better health benefits. Number 9. Eat high on fiber. Bread, cakes, cookies, and pretzels. Besides being good snacks to couple on everyday meals, they also have one other thing in common with each other. They are high on fiber, and fiber is actually a really good thing for you. Fiber is quick to build up in terms of filling your stomach, so you're actually more likely going to be full if you just eat a regular portion of foods containing in it. Eating just a bowl of whole grain cereal is just enough for a single breakfast than the usual suite of bacons, eggs, and juice alone. Number 10. Manage your stress. Look. We all know that we all have a bad day. Sometimes, life gets you down to the point where you stress over even the most trivial of things. Even how to simply walk out of your house every day to work becomes a chore. But if we're going to start losing weight, we gotta learn to chill out and keep our stress down. And you know why? Stress triggers the release of hormones such as adrenaline and cortisol, which sure, help decrease the appetite as part of the body's fight or flight response, Talking to loved ones, yoga, tai chi, or even a simple walk in the great outdoors, safely of course, can help reduce stress by quite a lot and thus help reduce weight all the more. So find your inner peace everyone, because a peace of mind can also be a peace in your body as well. And that is the 10 ways to lose weight in the present day. If you like this video, why not give it a thumbs up? And if you want to see more from us, click the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you got some ideas on how to lose weight, why don't you leave a comment below for others to read? You may know something that we may have outright missed. Thanks for watching, and remember, wellness is always all day, every day.